we ordered a marbled lungfish from exotic fish shop from Steve. Let's see if it's alive. It's been uh, what? Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Four days in route. Looks nice and light and, and alive. We're gonna unpack it and see better. Looks good, nice size. I added some ammo lock just in case. Slowly acclimating it. We're done acclimating and we prepared a section for 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 this longfish. So I'm gonna try and put her oh, that net is a bit too big. I'm gonna try and put her in there. Put it in that section. Clean the glass. A little murky. This is a product product Ethiopicus, marbled lungfish, the biggest growing lungfish of all the species. They can grow to four, five to six feet in the wild after a very, very long time. So we have no hope of ever reaching anything of those sizes, but they grow slow. And we'll see what, what the rate of growth really is. I, we tried a couple of times before, about five years ago and about three years ago. Both times we were met with with a failure. Some kind of disease took out all of our lungfish in our tanks, I think, but I'm not so certain. Maybe my poor husbandry and uh, not enough cleaning were also a factor. But we've been trying the uh, we've we've got this uh, West African lungfish, Protopterus anectans. And uh, it's been doing pretty well for the last, I want to say, four or five months. So that encouraged me to try the Ethiopicus again. I hope she will not be able to slide under that divider. This divider is there is only to separate the two lungfish because, because otherwise they will fight. The West African and the, and the marbled. Well, we'll turn the light off and let her let let it get accustomed and come down and get inside her little hideout here. It's little hideout here and relax a little. And we'll revisit we'll revisit it later. This is about uh, four or five hours later. The fish went into this corner almost right away and I see that it hasn't moved out, the, out of there since then so I assume it's still stressed I don't know why it doesn't want to hide in this nice hollow log but I hope for the best that everything will be fine just uh, three days cooped up in a small bag of course take, take their toll
it's long and uh, string like limbs are sticking out from under the divider I'm afraid that the other guys will try to peck him and the perch and the, and the I'm, I'm sorry the, the bass the peacocks and the largemouth may try to bite them so I'm really hoping the lunge will go into this log log sooner than later